Hey, hey, howdy, hey. I'm Sheriff Woody. You know, being a toy is not always the easiest. It can be tough, especially around the holidays. You never know if you might get replaced or put on the shelf for another toy. So, while Shaz is away, tonight I'm going to narrate this special episode of Toy Story What If. So sit back, relax, and get ready for another adventure. Our story begins at the night before Christmas. It was a snowy night at Andy's house. Andy just came back after playing with his toys in the snow. Woody and Buzz were freezing, and they hoped Andy doesn't bring his toys in the snow again. Before Andy was going to take his toys upstairs, Andy's mom told Andy that it's probably for the best to leave his toys in the living room so they can get dry near the fireplace. Hmm, warm. Andy puts his toys near the couch, and before the family goes to bed, the family leaves a plate of cookies ready for Santa Claus. That's right, Santa Claus! During that night, Buzz was confused why Andy would put a plate of cookies out for this mysterious Santa Claus. He then wakes Woody up and asks the question, Who is Santa? Woody was tired and insisted Buzz to get some sleep. Buzz then wakes Woody up again to ask where Santa comes from. Woody wakes up again and then just simply tells Buzz that Santa is sadly just a fictional children's character who was made for kids so they could be good during Christmas. Buzz still didn't understand and asked Woody again how is he sure that Santa isn't real. Woody then got up from the couch and went to grab an earth globe. Woody then tries to demonstrate to Buzz and explain how is it possible for one man to travel around the world in one night? But then Buzz brings this theory that Santa could have like, you know, something to do with fusion and something to do with time travel. Woody then gets annoyed and would not go back to sleep till he proves to Buzz he is right. Woody then picks up a Christmas children's book showing Buzz that Santa is part of a fairy tale. Buzz still doesn't believe Woody and is now more excited to finally meet Santa Claus. All the other toys hear Buzz and Woody's debate if Santa is real. The toys all then express their excitement and dream of what they could get from Santa. Woody tries to calm the other toys down and then blames Buzz for bringing all the toys' hopes up. Mr. Potato Head mocks Woody for not believing of Santa and hopes he gets a bag of coal. Woody then challenges the toys. He would set out a mission to the Green Army Men to look out for Santa Claus so he can put the debate to rest. Just like Andy's birthday party, the army men all geared up to try to signal Santa. The soldiers climbed up towards the roof and formed a rope. They then placed a baby monitor to help signal the rest of the toys. Sarge then used his binoculars to sight for Santa. All the toys were getting excited, but Woody just wants the toys to understand the facts. Around two hours later, Serge still hasn't spotted anything. All the other toys' mood starts to go down and down, to eventually they get upset. They were all excited for Christmas, but now lost their spirit. Woody then feels bad, realizes that maybe he just ruined everyone else's Christmas spirit. Even if he didn't believe in Santa, it doesn't mean he should take that belief from everybody else. Woody just wanted to prove a point, but realized that may just cost his friend's spirit. Woody tries to cheer up the gang and explain that there are other things to be excited for Christmas. The other toys all ignored him and all slowly go back to sleep. Suddenly, one of the Green Army men spotted something from one of the neighbor's rooftops. The Sarge calls out Code Santa to the baby monitor. All the toys rush towards the monitor to listen to Sarge. The Sarge explains that the mysterious figure is making its way to Andy's roof. Woody then tells the gang that they should all hide in their positions. Woody then asks Sarge, is the mysterious figure Santa? But the baby monitor switched off. While the toys all hide, suddenly a large man comes down from Andy's chimney and slowly sneaks across to Andy's tree. The toys couldn't tell what the man looks like, but they were all very excited. The other toys all started to whisper that they can't believe that Santa is finally here. Woody then starts to apologize to the gang for not believing them about Santa. Rex then interrupts Woody and asks, 
Why is Santa taking away all of Andy's presents? Woody then realized that mysterious person isn't Santa, but instead it's a burglar. All the toys quickly start to panic. Woody tries to calm the gang and explains that they need to try and figure out a way to stop the burglar. Buzz had an idea to attack the robber with his laser. Woody then again tries to calm the situation. Woody just then thought of a great plan to stop the robber. Woody got all the toys to hustle up together and go through the mission. The burglar grabs the last present from the tree and puts it in the sack. Before the burglar leaves, he then grabs Andy's plate of cookies and munched every single one. After eating all the cookies, the burglar then heard a strange noise. Reach for the sky! The burglar freaked out. He quickly tries to climb back through the chimney, but all of a sudden, RC just drove past. The RC car drove around the burglar six times, and then Potato Head and Rex used the rope of the Christmas lights to tie and trip the robber. The robber then fell towards the floor. Ham then puts a candy cane at the robber's mouth to stop him shouting and screaming. Woody then slowly walks in the dark to speak to the robber. The robber was very confused and was shocked to see all the toys were alive. Woody then puts an act that all the toys are ghosts from Christmas past, and then threatens if he ever steals Christmas again, we toys will be everywhere to haunt you. The robber then cries and screams. Woody let loose the burglar, and the burglar ran quickly out of the house. Buzz then pressed the burglar alarm signal, which alerted the cops and the residents. While the burglar was running through the neighborhood, he then slips through the icy path and fell into a pile of snow. A cop car then pulls up and arrests the burglar. The burglar tries to explain to the cops that the toys are alive and was possessed by ghosts. The cop then laughs and thinks the burglar had too much eggnog. All the toys were watching from the window, seeing the burglar get arrested into the vehicle and driven away family all came down seeing the racket. The police then talk to Andy's mom about the incident while Andy checks up with his toys. Andy then picks up Woody and Buzz and thanking them for saving the day. While the family goes back to sleep, the toys all thanked each other for the success for their plan. Woody then tells all the toys that he is very sorry about Santa. But as a role of a toy, Christmas is not all about getting gifts and worrying about presents. It's about being there for your kid and hoping to spend time with your loved ones. Buzz and the gang all thank Woody and thank for realizing the importance of a toy's duty. Later that night, Woody then wakes up. He then noticed some jingle noises coming from outside the window. Woody then had a look out the window and his jaw was wide open. Woody just saw Santa Claus flying through the sky with reindeers. Woody quickly tries to call the other toys, but all the toys were fast asleep. Woody then smiles and says, well, what do you know? The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this special story, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year.